All right, hello, welcome back. Last time we started our journey into the world of, well, this world doesn't have a name yet, it hasn't been given a name yet, but uh, we are in the Kazan Republic. Princess Fizz from, I don't know, the Brewery Kingdom has decided to become a hunter, which is a pretty famous job in this world. Uh, you basically take on quests for people and you hunt down monsters. A hunter, come on. Uh, joined by her retainers, Cider and Soda, and this rogue who just so happened to want to join a guild, Nikki. We started our journey, immediately got rocked a little bit, but we built back up, we built back up. And now here we are, level two actually, almost level three. And so at level two, I gave Fizz Terrorize, her first whip skill, she can deal damage now. Shield front for Cider, she can actually defend people now. Gave Soda nothing, cause EI actually takes two SP to learn. Uh, same with the other stances. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Technically, uh, Soda could learn what was that skill called? There was a skill. Yeah, Nui, Nuki Kake. Uh, just basic damage dealing skill. Which I kind of realized, I'm not even sure if I can use the skill. It says Katana skill. Soda has a sword. I don't know if that counts as not being a Katana. But um, yeah, for now, Soda still can't do anything. And same with Nikki, because we had to get Bowmaster at level 3 before we could even get Sleep Shot or Panic Shot. After, I mean, honestly... I don't want to build a bow mastery, but we at least need a level in something here. You know what I mean? Probably, I mean, headshots level five. I don't know. I might, I mean, status helmets are good. They're good. We'll, we'll go for them. Sonic shot is level five, huh? We act natural. We need power and intelligence bonus, which yeah, I do want to build up towards that after we get, after we get something going. And for now, you know, our money is all right. You know, we actually got some items. We got some power of fruit. We got... Three nuts, uh, rodent teeth, butterfly wing, you know, extra stuff. Those three nuts are for the quests that um, we gotta do. But there's a second quest where we need to uh, find more guild members for Rita, I think her name was. It was Rita or Rika. I think it was Rita with a T. Yeah, level three already. Level up nobility for Fizz. Put a point in the shield rear for Cider. Got EI Arts for Soda, which now we can finally, next level, give Soda a skill that deals damage. Jesus. And I'm actually gonna hold off on learning a skill for Nikki. We'll try to get into Bowmaster level 5, which gives him Headshot and Sonic Shot. Uh, I don't know if... It says avoids and returns damage. I am not sure if that means you have to dodge the attack of the skill to work. I hope not. Uh, but it seems like an interesting skill. Anyway, let's go into this cave. Raraka Cave, I think it was called. See, there are little dungeons in this game. Uh, we got no map for this dungeon yet. I think we can still encounter enemies here. It's a power for you, right? Yeah. I remember some stuff early game. Oh yeah, about the same type of enemies, but we also got a froggy here. Dog froggy, how'd you get dog? He got Isekai'd. All right, let's see. Your EI doesn't really do much for us right now. It Technically, like, it does raise our speed, and the other stances raise our attack and defense, I'm pretty sure. Terrorize! Maybe we shouldn't have split our damage like that. <laughs> but look, with all of our armor, we're not taking much damage anymore. Like, no, we're good, we're good. The monsters were defeated. Rodent teeth and frogs came. We are not here to terrorize frogs and rodents, though. We're here to talk to this guy. Harris, what are you up to? I'm searching this cave thoroughly. Unless you need help, don't distract me. What are you up to? A uh, guild needs members? Huh, I see. I've tried life as a lone wolf, but it's tough going. But you probably just want me to leave so you can steal this quest. Don't misunderstand me. I did the exact same thing to you as you guys. Anyway, sure, I'll go hear what this woman has to say. Adios. A lone wolf, huh? Nikki was something like that before he, uh, met this very boisterous princess. And was like, hey, they seem pretty fun. These guys seem pretty funny. Let me join them. Now we've actually completed our two, uh, other side quests. Well, technically main quests, because this is, like, required to advance the story. These introduction quests. Hey, hey, you're back. I've been waiting. These two uh, people say you sent them. Nice work. Thanks you. Thank you. I can't read. 
Now I have to find a third person. <laughs> so I'm gonna journey with them. I'll show you guys by going on a big adventure and becoming a great hunter. Then you guys can join my guild, right? <laughs> just kidding. Oh yeah, there was something else too. I just learned a majorly important skill. Let me show you too. The mapping party skill. Things like stairs and chests automatically show up on your dungeon map. Strike while the iron's hot. We're leaving real soon. You can pick up the reward from the quest office whenever you want. I hope you guys all have a wonderful journey. See you around. Thank you for teaching us how to draw. Miss Ma'am. <laughs> Build a guild complete. So with that, we can complete our last two quests officially at the guild office, quest office. Oh, right, right, we haven't talked to the lady. Here she is at this house. What? You saw my quest? Thank you! I'm looking for the nuts to draw by nutshells outside of town. I'll need about three nuts to make a charm. Thanks for helping. Hey, hey, are those nuts? They are! Those are nuts I need! Thank you! I've been waiting. I'll make it right now. You've been waiting for no time at all. Come on, we already had the stuff. Perfect! This should keep him safe on his way. You see? I made an amulet. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping. Say thanks for me, Julian Extra. Please take it. A traveler's charm. Safe travels, everyone! And we check out the menu. Traveler's charm. Gives us plus one power and plus five mana. Uh, the extra power and mana really could help anybody here. But it might go to Fizz, actually. Because she's definitely uh, one using both stats the most. Well, so now that I think about it, I could probably move Nikki up to the front row. It would also give us more use out of uh, front guard. 75% chance to hit the front row to technically if you want to look at it like that. And like I said, like Nikki is made to be a rogue, which can be up close or in the back, so his defense is should be good enough to hang in the front and not die instantly. Alright, we got a pyro of medicine, which is stronger than a pyro of fruit. And we got three gold. Look, the main treasure along the way was the extra travelers. Oh, was that an eight? Or a three? I don't know. No missions. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm very busy. Alright, well, it seems like we finished our quests here. Nothing else to do, right? Oh! Hey, did you hear something crazy's out there lately? Yeah, I heard a very strong monster's in a nameless cave. Didn't you name it that yourself? A little place like that? Wouldn't a lot of hunters get a nasty surprise? Yes, yeah, it's a serious situation. The president's office is already taking steps. Looking for hunters to resolve the situation. Are you taking a crack? Good way to build a rep. Do I look like an idiot? Way too dangerous. Besides, big guilt take care of it. No room for little guys. UNLESS! We can do it. You wanna try too? Well, you sign up the mission office, but I think twice. Money and fame are only u or any use if you're dead. Eh, why well, do you guilds get it? Scraps are the me most we can hope for. Let's see, how are we doing? Okay, this does not show us our max health, which is... Yeah, we could all be doing a little better right now, actually. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Sorry to bother you. Oh, what's this? Welcome. How's business? Thanks to all the hunters and merchants that come here, pretty good. Is that so? Probably something to do with the good food and cozy beds, too. And a little hard work. Oh, thank you. I hope you stay around for years to come. It's important for folks to have a place to rest after battle. Do you mind? Bro was giving us life lessons while we're just trying to walk into buildings. Like, I, I, thank you. But man, you're lucky we aren't half dead. I actually want to stop by Miros and see what stuff they got there for sale. I'm hoping they got a katana for sale. For poor Soda, he's got nothing. Though we're also not, like, doing too great with money, so I don't know if this is even worth it. I don't know if it's something really worth mentioning, or if, you know, it's already been figured out. But yeah, Nikki's, uh, seeker, you know, accuracy drop. Doesn't carry between battles. Like, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, okay, there's... Well, we've at least got a buckler here for, uh... Actually, I actually haven't thought about it. Can we even use, uh... Let's see. Here you go. I don't even know if we could have used, uh... Shield guard before having this. This will use some better equipment. Anyway, yeah, this is another, uh... Sort of carryover from Metro. Uh, let's see. Wait. Was it? This was not in Seven Dragon. No. Okay. This is not in a 2020 duology where when you sell monster items, 
you can get better equipment. But yeah, you see some question marks here. Two more beast fangs needed. Yeah, they tell you what you need, fortunately, once you click on it. Uh, I don't know what we just unlocked. They don't tell you what exactly you just got. But uh, I'd rather save the rest of my money. The equipment there is nothing crazy. I'm starting to guess that a sword works just fine for uh, soda. It better, because uh, there's no healing item. There's no uh, katana in these towns. I mean, exporter returns part of the dungeon entrance and power of fruit. Nice items, nice items. Uh, I haven't actually checked if there are any quests in Miros that we can accept. Probably not, because we're not technically supposed to be just hanging around here casually yet. We're supposed to be, really, uh, back in Kazan. Yeah, we're out of quests for now. 100 gold for Map of Lorium Wood? Uh, no. Never even been there before. Well, hello there. You can receive quests here if you like. This is a quest officer with dis a dispatch post for quests worldwide. Not for me, of course. I won't be doing any. Just waiting pa patiently or politely. There are a lot of NPCs to talk to in this game, and... You know, yeah, some of them will give you little advice like that. Some of them will give you items. Some will have some extra stuff going on. Like. Okay. What is he waiting for? This guy to pick up the handkerchief. That person's been watching for a while now. Should I say something? Oh, man. I hope y'all figure that out. Precocious kid. Love seeks to please others. And doing so pleases itself. Even the most selfless love then lacks pure altruism. Ah, did you hear that just now? Yeah. Oh, how embarrassing. It's all right, little man. Kid. No. Oh, what a relief. Oh my god. 200. Jesus. Yeah, it it, it pays <laughs> to check around town, I suppose. Uh, if you keep getting stuff like that by checking in barrels. I'm about to be an atelier protagonist. I'm about to start checking these barrels for real. I got a journey alone, but Gillian was like, you have to travel together. Being a maid certainly has its advantages. <laughs> What does being a maid have to do with, with traveling alone? You could make a maid guild. Until that monster's gone from the Northeast Cave, Miros won't be safe. Oh yeah, we're on it. I was going to open a shop here, but I just don't like the people here. They're so friendly and chatty, that is creepy. You can't bargain like that. Oh yeah, I will say this game does have like a slower feeling start than the uh, future Seven Dragon games, especially Code VFD. Code VFD is, like if you play that game, it basically just throws you right into a simulation of literally what happened at the end of 2022. So it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this game, it's uh, it's very RPG, like more than the others, of course. So when people think about the Seven Dragons series, they might actually separate this one from the rest, which I wouldn't really blame them. This is a very different game, as you'll see. You know, you probably already see from now, but you'll see even more as we get further into the game. This game is... Not like the others. Probably why I never finished it. But I really like the setting of it. I, I just can't talk much about it yet. I mean, it's about what you expect. But, like, just the idea of, you know, creating a guild, traveling the world. Always like games like those. Um, now, let's see. Do we need to talk to Aaron or Menos? I forgot. I think it's Menos, yeah. Oh. Of oh, Dr. Vetcher's size. Can't you be a bit more charitable? Charitable? I guess not. Anyway, what's next? Supply to collection and transport, monster extermination, the usual. Wait, extermination? Just a fledgling beast. Even a rookie guild could take them out. So that's all? N no, the other instrument remains a worry. I haven't heard any good news about the expeditions. I don't know how many capable guilds. Oh my god, I can't read. I don't know if any guild's capable of handling all these new monsters. I am pretty sure I have dyslexia. Like, I... Because even in games where the font is not a bit questionable, I I cannot do it. I can't. You sound worried. That's because I am. You can always tell what I'm thinking. It's a small problem, but we need it solved. Do you mind? Put out the word that this is a priority. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Oh, how vexing. Maybe I better touch base with Kingsblade. Hmm. Oh, I talked to you. Yeah. Shadowy Lair. 500 gold. We're gonna be eating good! A monster lurks in this cave. Keep it from doing more harm. For further details, see Mr. Minos. What's poppin', Effie? So you wanna join the expedition as well? Very well. We need everyone we can find. North of the East Bridge, a monster moved into the Nameless Cave. This is the cave map. We need this resolved immediately, but please don't be reckless. No other quest right now. 
I forgot you just cannot pick up quests here. You have to talk to people to get quests. That's also a reason you need to talk to NPCs around the game. Which you almost be cutting out my idle NPC dialogue, you know. Unless they are quests or something noteworthy. Oh, there's gotta be something back here, right? Come on, one of these hidden back here, right? Is that a person? That is a person! Okay, hi. For what? How do I get out there? Let me see. Okay, I can... There we go. I've never noticed you before. What are you cooking? <laughs> Bro? Oh, okay. Right, we got a lot of money, and, uh, you know, it seems like it's building up to a pretty important fight, so let's actually... Let's sell this, and let's upgrade our equipment a bit. Let's get ourselves a, uh, long sword for soda. Nikki, there was a crossbow in Miros that I didn't buy, and I'm thinking maybe I should have bought it. I mean, I can just run over there pretty quick. There's a sword we don't have any materials for, and, uh, that's basically it. Okay, you know what? We'll run over to Miros, try to see if we can afford that, uh, crossbow. And then we'll head into a nameless cave. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Also, we level up to four on the way here, so let me see what skills we want to get. For Fizz, I can intelligence bonus because I kind of actually want to build towards Cure. You know, at least get some levels in it. Though I don't know, maybe I could just go straight for Cure too. Well, at least level Cure one up once, though I think. More points in Shield Front. My goat finally can learn an actual attacking skill. Nikki can't yet, though. We'll learn Sonic Shot next level. Okay, I had to look it up just to make sure what Sonic Shot was. Yeah, it's not as good as uh, I thought it was. It's basically counters any ranged attacks, any projectile or magical attacks for big damage. But otherwise, it just deals less damage than a normal attack uh, by the end of the turn. So that's a more situational one. So we might go for Headshot. It's dealing the most damage, but also, I mean... Sleep and Panic are some good ailments. Dual Shot is like the main skill I want to go for, but that's going to take a while to get to, and I don't think we can go that long without Nikki learning a single <laughs> damaging skill. In the meantime, we got a good amount of power fruit, power medicine. Nikki, like if we don't level up between now and uh, Nameless Cave, Nikki might need to be our uh, item healer, item carrier around here. Alright, they said it was north of the East Bridge, so around here, right? Uh, right up here? Probably not that one. <laughs> Probably not that one. Doesn't that look a little more important than the usual stuff? I'll say that's that might not be where we need to go. Oh yeah, the issue here is that Soda needs two turns to set up, which is, you know, why you have that Nuki Kake skill uh, that just hits without needing a stance. So I might actually put a point into that where I'm just like, okay, we just need to kind of help take care of a random encounter quicker or something. Here we are, here's the Nameless Cave. Here's our first dungeon of the game. All right, where, which way do I wanna go first? Hmm, I'll go east. Mushy Posse. I was gonna say, let's show off some skills. We still don't really have anything. We don't, we don't. I haven't used Terrorize, actually. You see over there, that is the boss we are going towards. Over here we got... Power Fruit. Oh, not Poison! We don't have anything for that. We specifically told Poison kind of persists after battle for some amount of time. How much does one tick of Poison do? Does it go away? By the way. Uh, don't know if it does, but I'm fine using items because I know. Do you not go away? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Still. Just hoping Fizz doesn't die. Okay, we're good. I don't really want to use any more items, actually. Um, let's just. Here we go. Drink the water. Brewery recovered. Hey, the brewery got themselves a drink. If you go over here, there's a little hidden passage. 
this is probably one of the only little hidden passages I know in this game. Uh, we can try. We can try to set up uh, EI, and because I don't know how much these guys do, and we were right next to a healing. Busy, good. EI up. All right, we will. Are you sitting there? Okay, good. Yeah, swords count. Swords count. Nice. 13. Uh, how much do you- Fizz! No, I don't want uneven experience yet. Not yet. Ow. Ow! Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. Oh, no. <laughs> I was worried about that. This does not take care of revive. Okay, well, we'll have to be right back. Revive Fizz and come back here. That is unfortunate. Found another power of fruit in that chest over there. Or in that barrel. It is unreasonably difficult to get back here without anyone dying. <laughs> I, oh, oh, that was terrible. Okay. Anyway, let's go to the secret passages I was talking about before I died. died. Uh, I kind of forgot how this goes. I actually can't remember if you can even go over here yet. A part of it might be like straight up locked off. I feel like it's a kind of a weird secret passage. Anyway, we're about as ready as we can be. Uh, our equipment is, you know, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Our skills, you know, we already know what they are. So let's just do it. Ugh, impossible. It's impossible. No way can I beat that. What just happened? I came all the way to defeat this monster. You idiots better have some serious beginners luck. That's no fool for rookies. Or maybe, you know, I can go with more than just myself. What are you doing solo? I can't believe I came all this way. What a waste. Fine, I'm out of here. Get yourself a guild. Come on. Or be a mage. I saw a solo play through this game as a mage. I was like, Jesus Christ. Do. 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 Sorry, I didn't realize I said speed up on. I was like, wait, this sounds a little faster than it should. <laughs> All right, heated words. Let's let's start off strong. Oh, I forgot to put Nikki in the front row. Um, I'm fine wasting a turn on doing that because Nikki doesn't really do anything else except stand there and look pretty. I guess <laughs> he still doesn't have a skill yet. So yeah. <laughs> Now we got the heated words going, so let's just start EXing. Actually, I don't know if heated words is affected by EX. That's something I'll have to learn about. Okay, let's just all go in. We can finally put our skills to use, and yeah, you know, unless you're Nikki. Bang! Oh no, four damage. Soda. <laughs> Three. Oh no. Hey, are we not ready for this fight? <laughs> Because those are our strongest skills, actually. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Do we need to EX heated words? Like, yeah, we don't have a mage, but come on, that's... I should be able to do this without a mage. <laughs> I guess about the same damage, I was just making sure. Three damage. I'm not liking this at all. Uh yeah, shield front again. Uh Soda might actually be the one to use items around here because Nikki's doing some good damage with the exhaust. Oh, the critical, thank you. Hey, Cider, no! Nikki! <laughs> Maybe we're not ready! Maybe we're not ready! I didn't think it'd be this bad, though. 30 damage, wow. Hunters were wiped out. Game over! <laughs> oh, no. Alright. Okay, we're about to start cooking, actually, because Fubuki deals ice damage to a single foe, so if we can't have elemental damage from a mage, We'll get it for soda in just one more level, actually. Oh god, okay, bow mastery starts costing two SP to upgrade past level five. That's not fun. How long does it take for dual shot then? And dual shot itself takes two SP, of course it does. 
All right, here we go again. I leveled up one more time and I gave Soda the uh, Traveler's Charm, which gives him some extra mana. And uh, see, I also just decided to level up Fizz's hard, I mean, heated words, one more level, which yeah, we'll just start with that. <laughs> um, Soda, just go for the exhaust attack. Get the EI arts and you just do one panic shot. Yeah, I got headshot, which deals medium damage, actually, instead of the light damage that panic shot deals. So we'll just start with a panic shot. Hope for a uh, ailment, maybe? No? Okay. And then we'll just go for a headshot a bunch. There's like absolutely no way we're gonna get the instant death from it, but I'm mainly just doing it for, you know, the damage. Also, I leveled up Fubuki. And I leveled up uh, Shield Bear, I think that's the name of the skill, the passive skill, for a Cider. 31 damage, nice. Whew, nice. Okay, we got hard words and heated words going up, so let's just... Uh... Exhaust attack, right? Because it says... Terrorize deals light damage. I'm really just here for the damage, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm i not trusting any ailments, actually. And not anymore, not anymore. I've been betrayed. <laughs> By panic. Okay, that's, not, that's basically the same damage. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, let's heal Cider. Yeah, this game is a different beast from the future games. The future games are so much easier. <laughs> this game, it's really just the beginning that is hard. And I chose a non-optimized team. And see, we have no healers. We have no elemental damage. We have no heavy physical hitters. Like Soda and Nikki are like the closest. But you know, by now, Warriors will probably be dealing more damage than we do. Like, uh... Well, no, 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 no. I mean, so does not bad for damage. Neither is Nikki, actually. So it's like, okay, I did heal Nikki, right? I'm, I'm trusting myself. I, I'm trusting that I healed Nikki. I mean, Soda. All right, 19 damage. We still got those buffs. Let's actually use Terrorize. Nobody's doing too bad health-wise. Uh. I don't think we need shield front right now. Let's just go for the attack. Nikki, I am hoping that you don't, like, die. Okay, Fizz! Fizz is in trouble. Uh, we still got both buffs. Let's uh, go. Nope, Haro fruit yourself, Fizz, please. It's in the red. We can do this, guys. We can do this. I trust us. Nikki! Oh my god. Nikki has exactly zero mod. He can't use Seeker anymore. If Nikki ruins this for us, I'm kicking him out from the guild, actually. I'm mad. <laughs> I am so bad. Uh, okay, okay. We can still manage this. You are like you are kidding. We have zero mana. But like I said, at some point, Nikki might turn into the item carrier if things don't work out, and that's kind of what's happening right now. How we doing? We still got those buffs. All right. Paro fruit, come on, come on, team. Hey Fizz, where are you missing now? Come on. This is the last round. I'm about to risk it all. Let's have you defend. One of the problems with this strategy is that if Nikki misses, I mean, can Soda and Fizz do the damage? You know what I mean? I'm not trying to waste any more time. We just need to kill. It's not enough. Yes! Woo! Only took me three tries. <laughs> Two failures and a success. Shadowy Lair, mission complete. Yeah, I chose one of the least optimized teams for this fight. Please, wait, you can't go in unless you're part of the strike force. What's that, man? Ossia saying you don't have faith in these guys? They can't possibly handle this mission. 
Oh, were well, you talking to us? Oh, we handled it. Oh, it's you from before. By any chance, did you dispose of that monster? Yeah, first try and everything. You should have seen us. We swept it. Don't pay attention to how uh, we're bleeding out. Can it be? It looks like the truth. No, we just kicked it in the water. Hey, that's work. That was impressive feat for beginning hunters. If you stop by the mission office and make a report, they'll give you your reward. You can go back home now and leave the rest to us. Yeah, we will. I, th I think we earned uh, a rest. <laughs> the law of them are happy as cleansed with themselves. We really are. Oh, boy. All right. Next time, we'll see what next happen what happens next. Oh, that was that was tough for no reason. But until next time. Later.